Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cosplay Tea Time, a fun community of cosplayers bringing you podcast recordings where we'll talk about different animes, different topics about the art of cosplay, conventions, colors, and sometimes we like to switch it up a little bit and we'll talk about just random things such as today's theme, which is about music. So we're talking countries, blues, jazz, classical, rock and roll, we're just doing everything. I did have a plan to do like um like break it down into smaller categories and everything. I think I even had a list made up of like everything, but I'm kind of feeling like we should just do one happy podcast with all the musical with all the music themes and genres. Maybe we'll do a part 2 cuz there's always, you know, fun songs and artists to listen to and all that. So, but today we will be talking about the music theme, but before we get into that, I want to introduce our lovely tea sipper here with me today. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, um, I'm Tea Sipper. Uh, I'm Melona Rose Cosplays. You call me Bella of Rose. I am a cosplayer who has been with me for six years. My Instagram is bellamorose.cosplays, and I do have my link tree up in there. Well, I should. I, I, I should have a link up in there uh, where that's all of my pages um, and I I'm so I'm actually like the cosmetologist so I it's always great whenever I come on the show on all of our episodes and like if you discuss more into uh, topics where knowledge is needed uh, for example um, colors we have a color series if you haven't seen it please go check it out it's awesome uh and yeah it's all that unloving stuff well i am so so excited that you are able to join and get to talk about music which is one of my favorite topics so let's see so my name is jen i'm the founder of cosplay tea time as well as today's host my pronouns are she her I can be found on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at JenPeardCosplays45. Just look for Nora logo. That's how you'll, you'll know it's me, the IRL Nora. And today I am doing a closet cosplay, uh, a artist by the name of Riel. Uh, this was one of her looks for her uh, first music video. Like, first is the title of the thing. Not her very first music video, but first is the title. Very, very good uh, music video music to listen to. So, with intros done and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start with two icebreaker questions. We're going to start with the first one being, what is your favorite movie to watch? Um, my favorite movie to watch is, jeez, I, I have to think about two. One of them is more of a serious topic, but like the other one's kind of like, um, ghoulish. It's not like ghoulish. It's, it's Tim Burton's uh, The Corpse Bride. Um, yes, I know. I think it has like a serious theme in it too. But like, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. yeah, the other one uh, relates into oh. to uh, my culture. Yeah, it it just it it just shows like uh, my mm-hmm. people like when um that event was happening i'm not okay. gonna say it okay so that's a separate movie there, so yeah okay because you did cut I out for a little movie, bit like... you did cut out for a little bit so not the corpse bride which is an awesome tim burton movie and i just watched it the other night but there's like a, a separate film about uh like your culture and history correct so make sure uh yeah, like uh, an event that happened like over a couple okay. years ago. So okay. I'm not gonna go into it because it, it's kind. Of, it would be it's too much. It might be too much yeah. for the audience, yeah. but um, yeah, yeah you, you have the name. Go search it <laughs> if you want to. Absolutely. So, uh, let's see. Favorite movie? Oh gosh, there's so many. Uh. I think probably I'll, I'll say a Tim Burton because I have an upcoming Tim Burton project on my other channel uh so The Nightmare Before Christmas is always a classic absolutely love it I think we talked about it during the spooky podcast recording as well and um favorite movie probably Nimona Nimona 
almost said ammonia, no, not the, not the sickness, but Nimona about a, a person who can, like, shapeshift, and uh, they're trying to help, like, uh, this knight, like, overtake, like, a city and stuff. It's really, really awesome, so I definitely recommend checking it out. It's on Netflix, hashtag not sponsored, but yeah, really good movie, really enjoyable, and the soundtrack is amazing, so here, we're gonna get into that. <laughs> All of that music, but oh, we have... Nimona. Oh, you watched it? Nimona, she's my oh. energy. She's my energy. <laughs> like, when I'm all just like, she's just my energy. You know, so cute. I love that movie. It's so good. It's so good. It's so touching. It's like, oh gosh. Alrighty, so we're going to get into one more question before we do a little break, which is, what is one, what is your one favorite thing about cosplaying? My, my one favorite thing about cosplaying is just definitely, um, it's knowing just definitely, like, the, uh, community that you meet, like, um, there are a lot of awesome, wonderful, and beautiful cosplayers out there, whether you are new to it, or you were, you've been in, into it, like, for some time. I, I really... I really just love this community. I also love the idea to be able to um, just transform myself into uh, another character and uh, make someone's day and, and definitely just like kind of take a breather from like my own mm -hmm. life because uh, sometimes my life can get a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and the other time it's like, oh, this is so boring, you know, like. So it, it, it kind of puts like a fun little twin on my my side, my life, uh, of the uh, well, my little corner. Oh, little corner. My little corner. corner. Yes. <laughs> no, I always see that, but yeah, little corner. So yeah, it's good stuff. So yeah, definitely community is a good thing about cosplaying, especially when you're beginning. It's good to have a close circle of friends to talk with and all that, whether it's about shows or trying to figure out where do I get a cheap cheap enough sewing kit and stuff like that. Um, I will say one thing that I like about cosplaying is just it's a form of expression. It's a way that I can kind of express myself, you know, through characters, you know, whether I act or lip sync or something. It's just a way that I can kind of put away the Gen Mouse 45, like normal mousy little girl, and I can like be like you know, like Brielle, I can be Nora or Poppy or somebody just like bubbly, excited or strong or witty and stuff. And I get to be that for a little bit. And then I go back to Gen Mouse 45. But yeah, so it's stuff like that. It's just being able to express myself and be creative is one of my favorite things to do. Oh, you okay? I just heard Mousy yell, I'm a mouse too. Oh, I know. I'm a mouse too. <laughs> Mm. You've never really liked mice, like off topic. I never really, really liked mice, but you know, I mean, my first fandom I ever joined was my was the Redwall fandom. So, and there's like these like medieval mice that try to fight rats and ferrets and stuff. So that's why I uh, pay homage to them. I don't know if that's the right word, tribute to, I guess, to say like, you know, mouse and stuff is because of the Redwall fandom. Anywho. That might be, maybe that might be a, a future icebreaker question. First fandom you ever joined. <laughs> so, add it to the list later. Future gen problem. So, okay, so we're going to wrap up icebreakers here, and we're going to cut into a quick little commercial break before we get into today's theme, which is... <clears throat> I don't have my mic. Oh, well, that's okay. Alrighty, so if this is your first time joining Cosplay Tea Time, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I guess anything's really your microphone if you think about it. Sure. Here, I'll bring Nora. I'm just like, mm -hmm. he's a mic. Bring he's Nora. A mic. Uh, right. Yes. Nora's so, the mic. Nora's the mic. No. She's the I star. <laughs> She's the star. Okay, let's see. So, this is your first time. Welcome. We're just random goofy cosplayers. You know, we take a moment out of our day. We sit, we gather with tea and other goodies and all that, and then uh, folks out there uh, will take a moment to listen to our podcast recordings. Hopefully, all leave nice comments down below, like 
you know, helpful feedback and advice and questions. We like to do little Q&As here and there. So, yeah. So, uh, we've been going strong for two years, but if you're a fellow cosplayer out there and you want to join, you're more than welcome to. Just be sure to message us on our Instagram. We have a whole link tree down below. So make sure you follow Support Cosplay Tea Time. Make sure you follow and support our guests and tea sippers. They are awesome, amazing, and creative people. So definitely want to do that. So I just want to say, too, thank you all so much for uh, joining, watching, supporting, liking, commenting, all of the above. <laughs> we really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Okay, cease. Cease commercial break. So... But now we get into the fun topic of the day, which is about music. So we definitely didn't look up any history about music, but I'm sure it's been around for a long, long time. I'm sure there's music history out there and all that good stuff. We're not going to really get into like the history. We're just going to be talking about things that we enjoy about music, uh, you know, songs, artists, albums, genres, that type of thing. So as well as a couple little twist and stuff like that so but we're gonna get into all that so again we're gonna be covering any and every single genre you can think of we're gonna be talking about things that we like so i do want to make that clear so <clears throat> okay so we're gonna start with our first question of the evening for the theme <laughs> which is uh bella get ready what is your favorite genre of music to listen to Really, it wavers between uh, Armenian music uh, and K-pop, and then just like stuff that I used to listen to back when I was like a little emo kid, a little emo kid uh, in high school. Um, if you have been following me on uh, social media for a very long time, you knew me back whenever like I did show myself on the internet, like as I was, like you, you you know um but if not there's like a little fact you didn't know about. i checked out all those videos now you guys can't can't really access them anymore um but i, I took them down for like um safety reasons but um i yeah i just i've been listening to like a lot of k-pop lately like most of k-pop lately mm -hmm. Um, especially the new uh, TXT song that just came out as of the um, week before this um, mm -hmm. recording. It's pretty good. Music. So. Music. <clears throat> awesome songs. Yes, that's a good genre there. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is the part. Uh, this is why we're doing it first, because I was like, oh gosh, everyone's going to think I'm crazy. So we're going to start, start with like my top genres, which is um, melodic dubstep, which is just like very ethereal sounding, like very relaxed. It can be like a little bit upbeat. There's definitely like drops and uh, you can do like bass boosted type of stuff. Seven Lions is who I always recommend if you want to listen to the melodic dubstep. There's a whole Spotify playlist. Again, that's fancy. But, um, Melodic Dubstep, Pop EDM, K-Pop, uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh no, Chill Step, Lo-Fi is what I listen to whenever I study. I like just having, like, quiet music in the background. I do occasionally listen to classical music. Um, really just anything. I feel like some of the new pop songs I can get into, but it all kind of sounds the same. So Melodic Dubstep is always great because... You know, the beats are just so, so good. <laughs> so that's a variety. Variety. <laughs> so, gotta get that joke in every time I can. So, yes, I do, like, a lot of different uh, music. So, good luck trying to get my playlist. I think I have, like, a favorite tunes playlist of, like, all the songs that I've been adding to since, like, 2015. So, it's, like, 2000. I need to stop doing that. Oh, and, um, like, any anime, uh, like, uh, Amy Lee, Lee and Lee, uh, type of stuff. Of course, Casey Lee Williams and Jeff Williams. Always, always good stuff, so. Rocking roll. Okay, so, actually, this next one we'll dive into, which is, 
what are your two to three favorite songs at the moment? I was going to pick just one, but I'm like, that's kind of mean. So you can pick between like two and three of your favorite current songs. Um, honestly, like, I, I can't pick, I really can't pick other than, like, um, the, uh, this version is by, like, Mi Bui Jeremia, uh, their Mi It's actually a song, like, dedicated to a line dance that, like, I think the men do it. But I know they have a music video out there where, like, it shows, like, beautiful landscapes over, uh, one of the cities over, like, uh, in Armenia. And then, like, the, these group of men kind of just, like, line dancing. And it's mm -hmm. it's really awesome and beautiful. Oh, um, yeah. It, it, it gets me, like... <laughs> like so these, these are the things I've been mm. waiting for, even though I've listened to them countless of times. I love that feeling. It's like no matter you know you can listen to it on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, and it just sounds so good. <laughs> or if you haven't listened to it a while, and then all of a sudden it comes up on your playlist, you're like, wow, this song is still so good. It's like yes, those are the moments I look for. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Two to three favorite songs at the moment. Oh gosh, what is in the favorites playlist? Um, Guide My Way by Casey Lee Williams and Martin Gonzalez. Uh, I'm still listening to that, even though it got released. When was it like end of July? Yeah, so it was right around whenever the Dragon Prince released and stuff. So since July, that song has been in my playlist because it's so meaningful. Uh, first by Riel. Uh, the lyrics really resonate with me, uh, talking about like your first love and stuff like that. So I actually did this cosplay like three years ago, and she was doing like a contest and everything, and like Paradise, Paradise Lookalikes, that's when her album Paradise came out, so I did like the look, and then uh, she made me some uh, rave candy, so it's like a little bracelet that you can wear uh, to like concerts and stuff, and uh, yeah, I got this as like uh, being a part of the contest and stuff, so I'm like, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's a good melodic dub stuff right now. I think um, Gravity by Amity and somebody else? I can't remember the other person's name, but I know it's Amity. He has like a really like chill like voice and the drops in it are just absolutely insane. So yeah, there's a lot of good songs. <laughs> Okay, so, ooh, this one's a good one. I like this question a lot. What is a song that gives you nostalgia? Um, uh, really like any song that has, um, uh, you know, song samples of a certain genre like definitely gives me that nostalgia like mm -hmm. um i've been seeing a lot of uh that um especially when the barbie movie came out like i've been especially mm -hmm. seeing uh, being reminded of uh, you know kind of like 80s disco mm -hmm. um kind of like a wave uh, kind of type of music, and you know, like if you put eighties on, yeah. my <laughs> my my inner my inner um, right. um boy, you must dance with me will like yes. come out like. I love eighties music. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. You thinking of others or? No, I, I, so like it, 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 it's been, it's been a week. It's That's been okay. a good yeah. three weeks. No, it's all good. It was like somebody posted the other day, like, you know, at the time and stuff. It was like, oh, we're halfway through October, and I'm like, we're halfway through October. 
When did this happen? Like, <laughs> the blanket. Like, um. <laughs> exactly. But you gotta live life, and you live life by listening to music. So, cause music makes everything better. Just plug in your headphones, and oh yeah, it's good to listen to music too while cosplaying. Sometimes I do get a bit distracted while listening to music while cosplaying. I hope I'm not the only one, but yeah. Sometimes it's nice just to have like some background music to kind of listen to, hum to, and stuff. So, yeah, <clears throat> that should have been. It's okay. And let me see, song that gives me nostalgia. Any like Evanescence song? They've been posting a lot recently because it's like they're marking like their twenty years, like the band's like twenty years or something. I'm like twenty years. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so young when I first got introduced to them. Like. I remember like watching like their music videos and stuff. So like anytime I hear like an Evanescence song, it takes me back to like middle school. I just teleport in that moment. So, um, and then the other day I heard, uh, was it Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera? And actually, uh, one of her CDs, I don't know what it's called. I think it, I think it's just Christina Aguilera. Like that was like the very first CD I owned was was hers. So. I'm holding that, ready to put it into my little disc thing in my computer, showing my age. Anywho, uh, let's see, let's continue on with a fun question. This is a little bit different, which is, do you create music? And if so, what type of programs do you use? Um, this is actually a fun one for me because personally, I don't create music, but I do know somebody who is currently trying to create music right now. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants to be out here right now. Um, uh, but he is a dear good friend of mine. He is, uh, one of my other friend's, uh, boyfriend. He is actually, tr uh, the last time I talked about it, he was actually trying to, uh, make lo-fi music and, uh, you know, kind of, um, get going on the business and stuff and, uh, yeah, honestly, like, oh my gosh, this guy, he's so yeah. funny, too. He's literally yeah. so funny. So, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't care music. I don't know how to, I did used to play the violin, but, like, I, I wasn't making music. I was just learning how to play this wondrous oh. instrument. I, like, I still have the violin, like, below my feet right now. Oh, nice. But, um, yeah, but quite personally, so I don't make music, but, like, all my friends do. He, he's like one of my grandchildren. Mm. You, don't, <laughs> you don't miss my children. You don't miss. You miss with the mamas. Mama squad. There we go. We need our next he merch. Knows. We're going to make mugs that say like mama squad. Papa squad. We're going to do this. Mama Mousy. Have Mousy's family on it. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Graham squad. Graham squad. <laughs> I love it. I gotta remember to put that down later. If not editor general, she'll figure it out. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Do I create music? Not really. I remember when I first started voice acting, like I was trying to practice singing as well and everything. So I remember reading, I don't know where this is, so maybe somebody might have the information. Like it helps like strengthen your vocal cords and then uh, you know, the server I'm in, you know, there's going to be, like, music, so they need singers and stuff like that. So I was singing for a little bit, and I would usually use um, Audacity to record, uh, like, my singing, and then, you know, you have to convert it to an MP3 file and stuff like that. So um, Audacity is a good one. You know, make sure you have, like, good headphones, good microphone, uh, a stable internet connection. I was once recording, and then my internet went out, and then it didn't really work out, so... Yeah, it happens. So, um, Audacity is a good one. I'm trying to think. I think that's really all I use. I don't know of any other programs. So, maybe next time we'll have somebody who might use like, you know, I've like I've seen programs being used like splicers and all that and stuff. And but get like an in-depth like person to just talk about it. So maybe maybe next time. Let's see. Um, so you kind of already touched on this, but it, it's kind of like a two-parter question. Hopefully that makes sense. 
which is um, what is an instrument you want to learn how to play and have you ever played an instrument or own an instrument? Okay, so like on my end, I already mentioned that I used to play the violin. I'd really like to learn how to play the piano, and I know I know how to play like a uh, percussion too. Um, I'm scared. Uh, in middle school, like we ha we had a band uh, with like um, a lot of uh, clarinet players, a two players, and all that they didn't really have a uh, violinist because it wasn't orchestra based it was more of like band based but um <clears throat> excuse me but you know i i played percussion i played the drums i you know i was learning the drum kit and um you know i i just thought like learning rhythm was very cool a lot of people are um they stereotypically say like oh um um Percussionists are very aggressive. People like no, not a lot of us are very aggressive. You know, a lot of us uh, do percussion because we want to learn and study rhythm. Like that, that's just how some of us are. I mean, there might be some people who are like that, but you know, uh, the other people who aren't and do do percussion. Like, it, you know, it's basically the it, um, a percussionist actually studies rhythm. Um, and tries to like play that rhythm and um, you know keep the band on beat basically is what they do no matter like how spiced up it is or uh, how like minimum it is it's all about it's all about tempo timing and sound and kind of leading the band um, and then the rest of the band kind of they have um, they they create harmony and flow. Um, so yeah, to be okay. So the uh, uh, person who the who has like the little stick thingy who is like doing the tempo conductor uh, thing. Yeah, the conductor. I forgot that okay. for like a quick second. Thank you. Uh, but the conductor is the one who main one who keeps everybody on beat and then it is the percussionist uh, who uh, you know like help guide uh everyone uh like with the, with the music so that way everyone can be like in full harmony with um you know whatever they're playing no matter if it is just like you know a band full of you know many musical instruments or like if they were just like a rock band or Maybe it's kind of like, you know, like uh, those like slow bands and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> very, very cool stuff. Yeah, definitely gotta learn rhythm, tempo, tunes, tones and stuff, pitches, pitches with a P. Um, so, yes, let me see. I have not learned how to play an instrument. Uh, we do have like a keyboard upstairs. So I remember we got it like right when the pandemic started because like we're at home. So uh, we're like, you know, my family and I were just like, oh, like, let's get a keyboard. And then we can like, you know, teach ourselves and all that. It kind of doesn't really get used that much anymore, but yeah, you know, I'll start back up again. We'll see. It's, uh, but yeah, I definitely want to learn keyboard. I do want to learn violin. I hear it's very, very hard and tricky and stuff like that. But you know, they always make it look so cool and so, so neat. So blame Lindsay Sterling for that. She's always dancing around the violin. It's like I could do that. It's like no, you need years and years of practice and training in order to do that. So but it's nice to listen to. Put it that way. Okay. Ooh, I like this next question. Which is, if you ever created an album, what would you call it? What would your album cover name and stuff be like? Ooh. Creative mode engaged. I don't even know. I I'm not a musician. I'm a cosplayer. Mm -hmm. I don't even know okay. at this point. But I guess there would like be many names. Names and then many types of like pictures I could like provide. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I, 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 I want to create one right now just for the <laughs> bit of it. Yeah. But um, I'm kind of imagining though, maybe for my first album, it's like an animation of a cat, just like, oh, just. And then, like, the title of it is it, I want to learn how to maintain servers or something like um, that, or, yeah, okay. <laughs> or maybe just, like, a cat just kind of, like, posing, posing, like, you, you, like, just kind of, like, in a T-pose, and, <laughs> and the cat, and, and, and the cat is all, like, um, they kicked me out of mouse turf. Oh. <laughs> Why am I here? They kicked me out of mouse turf because they were too afraid. Oh. Like, he's all angry. He's all mad, like, oh, oh. Why did the guy kick me out of this? I just want to go <laughs> say hi. I know they kind of look kind of tasty, but I, yeah, I guess it was that one mouse. That one mouse with the top hat who has the oh, no. green and purple on. Curse you! Oh, Not ready. No. I wanna love you. <laughs> Never love you. Oh, just keep running away. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I, I I would listen to that like all the time. <laughs> so on repeat, play it at family gatherings. <laughs> it's just like all this wow wow. Music that's like that is, is related to your situation. Oh. The best. In the moment. And then everyone's just like, what are you playing at this Thanksgiving table? And you're just like, oh, it totally relates to my situation. Oh. We gotta get into this. Oh, gosh. Let's go. That's funny. <laughs> and you're just like passing the potatoes. Is everything okay? What do you mean? Everything's fine. Oh, yes. I'm fine. Oh gosh, that that was much needed. Thank you for the laugh. <laughs> Album drop when? No. <laughs> oh gosh. No. Maxie, I'd like the headphones. Oh, we should get Maxie some headphones and like DJ it up. Maxie's like mm -hmm. DJ. That's so like, cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Massey has sung a couple of ditties here and there, like on the podcast, and even during our live, the live stream with the Comfy Cozy Con and stuff. So Massey is very musical. Yeah, I mm. love Massey. He's adorable. I know Massey's the best. We love you, Massey. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's see. Oh, I love you too. He's like over there. Oh. Musical mousey. There you go. Um, let's see. So if I had an album, what would I call it? I don't know. I think if I had like a EP or something, it would just be like, this is Jen type of thing. Like, get to know Jen and stuff. And it would just be like, whatever music. Probably Melodic Dubstep, because that's what I listen to a lot and understand. So it would be that. But I kind of want to make an album, just title it Villain Era and just make it deep and dark misery. But yeah. Got it. Uh -oh. I got it. I got, got, I got it. it. <laughs> Jenny Queen. What is it? Jenny Queen. Jenny Queen. Yeah, I would. I would have a song called or, The Queen or something. Villain era. Welcome Jenny to Queen it. Or, yeah, Jenny Queen or Jenny B. Aww. Sometimes that's what I call you behind the scenes. I'm, I'm just like. Okay. Yeah, whenever <laughs> I'm just like talking like good words about you. Good words. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, our our host, uh, Jenny B. Aww. Jenny B. Because she's, she's she's sweet like honey. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute, Queen of the Bees. That's me, <laughs> the bumblebee <laughs> ship. <clears throat> me. So, I'm actually gonna have two more questions because I just thought of one as you were talking and stuff. I was like, oh wait a second. Um, but this next one is going to be: Have you ever been to a concert or want to attend a concert? And who such Slash, which concert would you want to attend? So I went to like three concerts. I remember it was those with my dad, but me and my sister for my sister's birthday to see Taylor Swift. 
Um, and then there was Lindsay Sterling, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Interlochen. I think that one summer mm-hmm. I got to see both Pat Benatar and Lindsay Sterling. Oh yeah, there's a fourth one. There's a fourth one. Uh, no, it's five. Darius Rucker and then... He's a, he's a country singer, but uh, whenever he, he did like a whole set because he like loves Elvis and a lot of mm, old nice. stuff. Um, I know what he looks like. I just, oh my gosh, I can't I can't remember his name and he's he's just mm. I think he's a popular one of the popular country artists. He played mm. with uh, Keith Urban. Okay. I'm not really into country. Yeah. Don't come after me, but not really into yeah, country. Nor am I. I probably don't know nor who it I. is. The only one I can think of is like Tim McGraw, I guess. Big name. But... <clears throat> yeah, so. I, I would definitely want to see the accidentals again, though. I saw them in the past, and I definitely want to see them. Alright. Okay, road trip. Let's go. I have a picture of us together. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have a picture. Uh, let's see. So, have I ever been to a concert? Yes, I went to back in middle school and high school. We'd go to like the Christian concerts and see like all the Christian singers: Nally Grant, Mercy Me, Hawk Nelson, and all of them. Uh, let's see. And then a couple years ago, I went to my very first Lindsey Sterling concert back in 2018. Uh, that was really, really awesome and amazing. So, but I'm hoping uh, in the future to see Ava Max live. Just hopefully, see Riel live. I don't know, if Riel, if you're ever watching this, if you're ever gonna do concert and come on over to the East Coast. I'm definitely wearing this, and I have told her that. I'm like, I'm gonna wear this cosplay. Here you come over, you do a little concert, and be there. So, and then uh, lastly, uh, Seven Lions or. Uh, Oh, what's his name? Alumi? Aluminum? Uh-oh. Uh, I can't- I don't know how to say his name, but like, some- yeah, he's think, within that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I people think- know. I think it's spelled- I, I think it's pronounced like, Alunum or Aluminum or something like yeah. that. Yeah. At first I thought you were talking about Eminem, and when you mentioned- I look like an Eminem. I look like an Eminem. Uh, I don't know. That, that's, that's, all, that's all you. Whoa. Whoa. But, uh, <laughs> when you mentioned you saw Lindsay Sterling in 2018, yeah. I'm like, bro, I saw her summer 2018 too. Oh, gosh. In. Oh. Bro, I think I, mm-hmm. I have. It's winter. I think I have video proof of it somewhere. I, I do. Somewhere. Uh, no. It's yeah. summer. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I go. saw I saw her twenty eighteen uh December. Uh I'm not gonna say where because that, that'll give away my location. But there is a video on my Gen Mouse forty five channel. I think it's the very first video I ever posted of uh, her playing Crystal Eyes. Because that's like one of my top favorite songs that she plays and stuff. And the lighting actually was decent for me to take a video. Because every other video, it's like a little blob. It's like, I know she's there, she's in the blob, but that one was like crystal clear, crystallized clear. <laughs> Anywho, that was a terrible joke. Bad Jed. Um, let's see. So I actually have one more question uh, on my list that I just added, which is, uh, do you have other music-related cosplays, or do you plan on doing like music-themed cosplays, costumes? Everybody, get class class playing around. I really, <laughs> um, I really, I really want to cosplay a pokey. So she's like, um, she's like a virtual bunny, uh, music artist, you know, K-pop. Um, she's got pink hair now. She has like blue hair because she came out with um her uh, song called Space. Uh, the animation and everything on it is just so cool, and I'm just like, you know, how would they do that if they made that kind of like live action and like the cookie was kind of like, I wonder how they do that. Uh, because you know, like, I'm also interested in you know like uh, doing videos and stuff, and yeah. I, I, I'm very excited to you know just start doing content like 
mm-hmm. especially when I'm able to uh, think things are like less crazy and I can get my foot in the door of mm-hmm. <laughs> in the door. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be Dia there, but I like I get like my foot in there and I'm just like, oh, you know, like I kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I can do this. Mm-hmm. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So it made me think of it as this whole entire weekend. I've done nothing but music related cosplays. So I just uh, posted Musa from Winx Club. Finally got her out there. Yay. Dream cosplay of mine. Finally done. Uh, Poppy from Rainbow High, her, like, major focus is music. I did uh, Artemis from Lindsay Sterling's uh, album and comic book Artemis. I did, like, the pink hoodie type of look, her dark look. Uh, oh, spoilers. Her dark look. And then I did, uh, like, a masquerade type of thing, AU-ish type of thing. I don't know. They're, they're on my TikTok somewhere. Go, go find them. <laughs> go searching. And, um... Sometimes what I like to do is I like to make like uh, headphones out of like, you can get like a pack of like uh, plastic headbands and you just take cardboard and foam and make like cute little uh, headphones and stuff. So I usually take a bunch of those and I'll take like characters that I already have. So I did a, like a pop star type of Nora vibe. Um, I think tomorrow, whenever we do social media part two, you'll see, like, an idol Piranikos type of thing. So, like, taking, like, characters and, like, making them, like, music theme related. So, that's always fun to do. So, I'm hoping to do, like, a Ruby Rose, but I'm like, it might be similar to Pierce because they both have red, but maybe in the future. We'll see. Okay, so that is all my questions about music that I have on my list. But as always, uh, I like to turn over to the guests and tea sippers, see if they have questions for me about cosplay tea time or for viewers out there. So, bella, bella, bella. Uh, I guess I just want to know from the chat, like, what, what's your favorite music genre? Um, um, like, um, why do you think it kind of like grabs you so much? Uh, I know I've kind of explained with like music from my own culture and like K-pop and like other musics from like other cultures and stuff. It grabs me because like um, it's all it's all like from somewhere. Um, maybe it's like maybe you like that uh, music genre or a music artist. Because it uses a lot of samples from, you know, what happened with our other artists. Uh, not all artists make their songs and uh, their beats, like it's not all written for them, but they do throw mm-hmm. it all together into one. Um, uh, because artists do make songs for other artists. Maybe it's because of that, or maybe it's because of another factor. Emily, do tell us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Share music genres, share music we should listen to, uh, it's my favorite tunes playlist. I think there's over like 2,000 songs on there. <laughs> yes, that's a very, very good question to ask folks. So we'll leave you with that. I uh, just want to say that we are done with the music one. We might do one in the future. If not, I know uh, some of these questions might sneak their way into a couple icebreakers, so be sure that you're subscribed, following, liking, sharing, all of the above. We'd appreciate it. So, Also, too, if you're a cosplayer and you want to join, whether you want to join our lovely podcast recordings, we have a couple left this season, but we got some fun ones coming up in 2014. I was making a little list to do the other day, trying to figure out but hot topics, kind of, sort of, that could still be relevant next year. So we got lots of fun activities going on. Check out our cookbook, uh, colors playlist. Uh, we're done with all the colors, but um, you can always listen to the playlist and stuff. Lots of fun, fun songs out there. So just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, make sure you leave comments down below, favorite music genre. Try to remember to post that. And we hope that everyone is taking care, staying safe, and keep sipping away. (laughs) Bye, everyone.